thought. So you're now recording. Okay. So this is a, uh, a, a turbo timber copy of a Canadian uh, bush plane, a uh, turbo beaver, which is a real plane. And the uh, fully operational flaps and, and ailerons, rudder, and uh, and in the rudder there are rudders on the uh, on the pontoons that are actually steerable rudders too, and and of course elevator. So we'll give her a whirl. Headed for the water. Lake Ontario's finest at the mouth of the St. Lawrence. <laughs> and the nice thing with the electric, you don't have to worry about it, an engine stalling. First hurdle's been passed. The operator did not fall in the water. <laughs> don't give up yet, though. You guys want to take a peek to the uh, takeoff? You know him. Here we go. Well, why stop now? Come on. <laughs> you can switch up on me. I wonder what to do. I can take a power bar for this one. No. That's right, and it, because it's just like the, uh, the the plane it's modeled after. It's meant for short takeoffs and landings in remote lakes. You should have somebody with better eyes watching this. None whatsoever. And these, these planes now, unlike the old ones, are computer stabilized. So there's, there's, even though I'm doing 100% of the flying, any, any kind of like wind flutters or anything like that is all stabilized out by the... Uh, this is going to be quite dizzying for whoever tries to view it, Ed. Very dizzying for anybody who tries to view it. Whoa! Were you not paying attention for that one? I missed that approach. Give me that approach again. Can somebody alert me? That was fast. So this top speed on this is about 60. On electric power. It's very quiet. It's gone quiet. Whoa! You're going to be disappointed in my videography. That's okay. These are, it takes a while getting used to following these things. Well done, Captain. <laughs> 